Good morning. Today is Sunday, April 30th, and I am either, I think I'm 11 DPO from like going off of feelings. I didn't do any OPKs. Um, according to my Ovia app, I am 9 DPO. So, let's, I've already peed and I'm just going to dip this. So, hold on. I got to open the package first, and I can only do that with two hands. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, my husband. So I covered it up. We're gonna wait three minutes. It's already been two. I've been arguing with Preston. He lost his knobby thing, or whatever it's called. It's like a little kid iPad because he just was not listening. He just kept doing what he wanted to do instead of listening. So he lost it about four days ago and now he's throwing a fit because I told him no. I told him a week and we're just keeping it at a week. And yeah, I am so tired. I really need to find a different top for my little cage so she can not chew on the top of her cage. I'm going to put her in a 10 gallon tank. Yeah. She's a naughty, naughty little critter. She's so cute though. of truth okay so before I open I think it's not gonna be a positive because my feet started itching on the bottom of them last night and when I was pregnant with the twins I had puffs it's like this really terrible rash that you get towards the end of your pregnancy if you, um, I think it's more common with multiples and some things that I've done research on boys when you have boys um, and they say it'll go away after you have babies. Well, mine didn't. I would, every time, like it's like a hormonal thing, before my period would come, I would get them even after I had the babies. And I mean, like some people, they even induce their labor because the rash is so bad because nothing helps. Well, up until I had Preston, I would get itchy legs and itchy bottoms of my feet. And I haven't had that for quite a while now, at least a year or so. I think maybe since I had the miscarriage, not this January, but the last January. And yeah, my feet started itching again. <laughs> so, and usually that was about midway before period, which now my period, Sunday it's due Thursday. So that's kind of odd, but yeah, it makes me think maybe I'm starting to normal back out again and I'm not pregnant. I, don't, I haven't had any more cramping, so... Okay, let's look at it. That's my juice box from this morning that my son brought me. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Maybe... I'm gonna hold off hope. Still hope until Aunt Flo comes, but... Yeah. Look at my Pookie is helping me make some bacon and waffles for my husband. And I wimped out and put his hoodie on because I don't want to get my shirt or my arms messed up. Love you too. Bringing back the 90s with this hairstyle. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Do I look like a sexy chipmunk? Are you ignoring me? So I thought I would update you with what I am doing. We went to Petco and got this for my dribble. And then we went to Walmart and 
impromptu haul. My husband got an antenna for the bedroom. And I got some dribble food. Because I'm getting low. Gidget is. I got a thing of cherry licorice. Some black licorice. Coming to find out my kids actually like it as much as I do. So they're going to have someone to buy them treats too often. Then I got a wheel for my little pumpkin. And some chew sticks. And some tums. And this, this used to be my lizard cage. And it's been gerbil cages before. And no, I didn't have a snake. I had to think back. I worked at a uh, at a wholesale pet store. So like all the pet stores that you go to, we would actually package up the animals, box them up, and send them out to those pet stores. So it was really cool. Um, in the anoles, which is like a little green lizard, we would get long-tailed grass lizards in there like on accident, and so I would get to keep those for free. Um, my friend had tarantulas. She had a breeding spider. She actually got the tip of her, um, I think it was her thumb, yeah, bit off by a piranha. Just a tiny little piece, not a big piece, but still pretty cool. So yeah, so I am going to clean this out. It was pretty much clean. But the sand won't come out, so I'm thinking I'm going to vacuum it after I dry it out, get the sand out, and then I'm going to put my little pumpkin in it. Well, considering this is about 14 years old and hasn't been used in 14 years, it's as good as she's going to get. had to rig her water bottle because we couldn't find one for a tank in the store. It'll work for now. And here's the boys' new cage that they bought today. They like it. It's <laughs> very cute. They like going through the toilet paper rolls and stuff. Mm -hmm. They have three full balls. What are their names again? Lily and Blue. Lily and Blue. Which one's Lily? Right there. The brown one is Lily. Oh, she's orange. And Blue is the white one. The one going through there. And this kid doesn't know how to get on a chair without knocking his face off. Or not. Very nice, boys. So this is why, this is why we got the new cage. Because see, she did all the chewing on there. this. We got poop on it. Yeah, it's poop and poop and he's clean. That was keeping us up all night and that's why she had to stay in the bathroom with the door shut at night. Mommy. So now I think because she's in the clear cage I don't want the cats to mess with her too much but I always go into my YouTube Mommy, room is what I call it. Peanut. So I'm going to put her in there when I get a spot clean for her and then she'll be nice and safe and happy and I won't be kept up at night and she can relax and play. So no lie, we've been laying in bed just watching both of us on our own phones watching Casey Neistat like for the last two and a half hours. So I asked RJ to come sit with me while we putz around the room and we can both watch Casey together. And I just took that little foof out of my hair and this is what it looks like. It's still wet from this morning, but it smells good. Target, 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 dusty, 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 frosty, frosty, frosty. RJ Clarence. T Rex. <laughs> 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 
I do like a team rat. No. So I was just ID'd for getting a pregnancy test at Target. Yeah. Apparently they've been doing it for the past two Hello. weeks. But I just bought one yes like two days ago Hello. for the two pack. Hello. And Hello. yeah, that was kind of nuts. But then when we checked the receipt, there was like little dash marks next to the band-aids. So I think it was the band-aids that we got ID'd for. So it just must be a mix up in their system, but yep. Well, I am gonna call it a night. We just got back from Target and we got selfie sticks and I recorded an ending to this, but apparently there's no noise on it so that you get what you pay for. RJ says his worked, so maybe I'll take it back and exchange it. Maybe, it was only $1.50, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to tinker with it a little bit, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and subscribe. Bye.